couch dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I'm gonna help you incorporate slapping into your fingerstyle guitar playing. But first, let me just mention that this lesson is sponsored by Meze Headphones, who were kind enough to send me this spectacular pair of earphones, Q-Zoom N. The 11 Neo, which is an upgrade on the 11 Deco model, which they let me review last year. And let me just tell you that the sound range, the frequency range, the richness of the sound on these small earphones is just uncanny. You have to hear it to believe it. It's so small, it fits in your ear, and it has the sound range of a huge headphone set. Don't trust me? Go read reviews. Meze are magicians, they're technological magicians. If you want to read more, click the link in the description and go learn more. Now let's learn how to slap. Now, many of you have asked me for my help in the comment section and in emails asking me, how do I practice slapping? I can't get used to it, it throws my playing off and I just can't seem to do it. And I'm telling you, you can do it, you're probably just practicing it too early. What do I mean by that? You're probably trying to play it along with fingerstyle arrangements right away. And you're trying to play a complex technique without actually practicing it first, and you need to practice the slaps. So I'm gonna give you a few exercises, and some of them might seem a bit dumb, but trust me, it will help, because you need to understand the concept behind the slapping, and once you understand the concept, you'll be able to slap in your sleep. So um, I should copyright that, slap in your sleep. I should create a course called slap in your sleep. So, um, why should I create a course? This is for free. So, um, you start by getting used to the rhythm behind the slap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And on two and four, you slap. So before you even touch the guitar, click your finger every two and four. Sing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you're out of breath, take a breath and continue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This becomes pretty boring pretty quick, so then start uh, slapping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then put a song on and slap with the song, okay? And if you don't have any song ready, just sing something. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, na 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 It doesn't really matter what you sing, you can invent a melody. Just make sure that every second beat you slap. Then, when that get gets boring, Take the guitar, take any chord, and I suggest E minor, and play one and three as well. Play the bass notes on one and three and slap in between. One, two, three, four. 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 This becomes pretty boring quickly, and then you can move around to playing different chords and do the same exercise, just the bass notes. Doesn't matter which chord, surprise yourself. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter at all which chords you put on, as long as you play the bass notes and slap. Just get used to moving your hand around while slapping. That will immediately prepare you for playing fingerstyle with slapping. So just play any chord you like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Any chord. The more outrageous, the better. You need to get used to moving while slapping, but don't play yet. Then, when this gets boring, start playing the chord with slapping and there are two techniques to do that um, you can slap and strum by throwing your fingers out or slap and pick which is a little bit more difficult you slap while clawing your fingers to pick the chord okay and that's a little bit more difficult to get used to but you need to because um, when you play finger style 
the slaps come around uh, on every second and fourth beats and you need to play melodies right along with it. So get used to it. Just take simple chords and play. Slap and strum and slap and pick until you get used to it. Okay? They produce pretty uh, different sounds when you do it because uh, one is using your fingernails and one is using your skin. So. Okay? Get used to both strumming and slapping and picking while slapping. Once you get used to that, and only then, start thinking about playing fingerstyle with slaps. And even before you do that, take a very simple uh, arrangement of mine. Uh, you can take the intro to Sweet Child of Mine, for example. And even before you do this, even before you play this, prepare your fingers for the D chord <clears throat> and sing the riff while playing. You can be tone deaf as you like. You don't have to play. Just get used to thinking about the melody while slapping. Then if you like, you can play the chord with the slap. And then, when you think you're ready and you're tired of all the previous exercises, then try to play it. And you, you might not need to break it down, but I'll break it down for you anyway. And again, I think breaking things down in order to incorporate slaps are the wrong way to do it. You need to get used to slapping before you play. But I'll show you what you need to do just to give you a demonstration of what slapping and finger style requires. And you need to have practiced everything I just showed you. One, and then two with a pick. Okay, because you need to slap while picking this. So, okay, it's a slap and pick. Okay, then three, okay, and then slap and strum on four. So one, two, with a pick, and then three, four, with a strum, okay? Okay, so you incorporate both techniques. Now, you can take Stand By Me as well, but it's a little bit tricky because you need to slap while playing a note with your thumb. So that's a whole different technique. So you need to slap with the high uh, string fingers. You need to slap with those fingers while playing the sixth string or the fifth string. So one slap is easy, the second slap is not because it's dum, dum, da, da, dum, 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 dum. Dum, da, da, dum. Sing it, sing it and, and click or slap while singing to get used to the idea, to the concept. Okay, one, okay, so, okay, then you need to slap with the bass note, okay, so you hit the high string, okay, and then. Then again, slap alone between notes, okay, and then with the B note, okay, so again, slap with, this was a bit exaggerated, but, okay, with the note. Okay, that's the idea. There's no use um, playing it slow because it's an easy, it's an easy bass line, so don't cut yourself slack. You can do this. You can do this in full speed. Okay? If you can play the bass line, you can play the slaps, especially if you practiced everything I told you so far. Um, take these two riffs, the Stand By Me riff and the uh, Sweet Child of Mine riff, or just stay with chords for as long as necessary and then try it. And you can also take any other simple, uh, simple riff. You can take okay, this. And slap with the open second string. Okay, it's the first, it's the half of the of the Californication riff. And then just play the chord.
chord. Okay? Now, another thing that I want to mention, you can have uh, another interim exercise between playing chords with slaps to playing riffs with uh, slaps. I just thought of it by playing this. Um, you can dare yourself to see what you can get away with between the slaps and try to arpeggiate the chord, try to pick the chord, try to play the chord in different ways, different string sets. this if you can improvise around the chord with slapping there's no more I can teach you about slapping so good luck with this before you go subscribe to the channel if you haven't already what are you waiting for there's a ton of free lessons over here and I upload a new one every couple of days or so I'll see you the next lesson and you go enjoy your slapping bye for now